week, we're celebrating our friend and colleague Steve Fiorina. As he moves on to the next chapter in his life, we are taking a closer look back at his storied career that spans nearly 35 years here in San Diego. Our 2 News anchor Kimberly Hunt has worked with Steve for many, many years and joins us now with more. Yeah, what a career it's been, that's for sure. It has been my honor and privilege to work with such an amazing journalist. Steve Fiorina has covered thousands of stories and touched so many lives along the way. Today, a look back at some of the natural disasters that brought our community together. Together. The summer of 85, the community of Normal Heights was devastated by a fire that claimed 69 homes, but no lives. October 2003, the Cedar Fire broke out in the Cleveland National Forest. It exploded across San Diego County. The largest wildfire in California history to that point. It killed 15 people, and destroyed thousands of homes. Hardest hit were Scripps Ranch and Tierra Santa. Complete devastation. After this is all over, everybody will help everybody else. We'll be okay. We'll get through it and we'll be fine. Four years later, another firestorm raced through the North County, killing two and featuring wind gusts of over 100 miles per hour. The Witch Fire forced the evacuations of half a million people in San Diego County. The fire in the Waldo Canyon. Our sister TV station in Denver asked for help in covering a wildfire that burned for almost a month in Colorado. Fire officials say they're saddened. I provided live reports for KMGH there and KGTV here in San Diego. Much more rugged terrain and restricted access than here in California. December of last year, the Lilac Fire ignited near Bonzel and strong winds pushed it toward the coast, wiping out 72 residents in Rancho Montserrat Mobile Home Park alone. We just want to go home. An enormous earthquake shook Mexico City in September 1985. Tremors measured 8.0, and aftershocks were almost as strong. Tan News hopped onto a flight the next morning, and we covered the destruction and the rescue efforts. We had just paused after a full day of shooting, our batteries depleted and being recharged, when another aftershock rumbled through. Everyone in the hotel where we had set up base emptied into the street at a dead run. As many as 10,000 people were believed to have died in those quakes. A year later, we returned to report on recovery efforts. But it is up to the Mexican government to decide what aid will be accepted. We drove to the Northridge quake, which hit in January 1994, magnitude 6.7, killing 57 and injuring 8,700. Been in the midst of driving snow in Juliet, battered by a winter storm on the Oceanside Pier. As you can see, it is blasting us up here. Rainbow Creek was the site of a desperate search for a five-year-old boy who had been swept away in floodwaters early last year. Could be anywhere. A giant boulder crashed into a house in Rancho San Diego in 2000. Fortunately, no one was home when that 140-ton house guest dropped in. We just observed the 10-year anniversary of an F-A-18 jet crash into two homes in University City. Four were killed in that tragedy. You remember the victims? And PSA Flight 182 will never be forgotten. A Cessna collided in midair with a jetliner over North Park, claiming 144 lives in 22 homes. It was in 1978, and there have been many tributes. So many emotional moments over the past 34 plus years here at 10 News. Tomorrow night, we'll start taking a look at some of the most disturbing stories I've covered, murders of innocents, the searches, the arrests, and prosecutions. And Steve, as we just looked at, at just a few of what you've done just there, fires, floods, earthquakes, crashes, you've been there when people were at their lowest. And I just want to say those people were fortunate because when you arrived, they got a caring, compassionate person and the best reporter there could be. Well, thank you, Kim. And I remember after the McDonald's mass here, which we will hit, I think, tomorrow night. Yeah, they're shooting um, at McDonald's. Uh, Pat McCluskey, the photographer, and I on our knees in a living room of 40 family members of a little boy killed there. Just heartbreaking. Well, there's a lot more to look at through all these 35 years. We look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. It's been a great ride. Yeah, it's it's for sure. I can't wait to see much more to come this week, Steve. Thank you. <laughs>